absolutely magnificent from the Tumeb mine in Namibia, uh, Smithsonite on a matrix of Galena, solid Galena right around the back. And you have the Smithsonite crystals perched right around here. Now these have a, a almost reddish look to them. So I don't know if one can go with Cobalt and Smithsonite or maybe uh, Ferrogenous Smithsonite in this case. Most likely iron oxides causing this reddish color. If you zoom into the still pictures, you'll actually be able to see it. From a quality point of view, this whole section looks almost perfect right across here. Uh, from a display point of view, on a turntable going around like this, the back isn't all that appealing, but what is appealing, on the cross section there it looks almost pink, so maybe we're looking at cobalt and calcite, a uh, smithsonite. And then looking from the top down we have this effect, going around like this, slightly over and under exposing the color at this stage on the video. Let's just uh, let's see if I can get a little bit closer to give you an indication of the actual color. Now I'm going to overexpose as you see, but it's as if there's this red included in the in the Smithsonite. Lovely formation of Smithsonite crystals. From the old Sumeb mine in Namibia, of course no longer being mined, um, as classic as you get from, from Tsumeb. A lovely, lovely piece. Good size, must be about, well, at least three inches edge to edge. Height will be over two inches, so good size too. Look at that. Lovely piece.